So hello guys, welcome back to Electrical Point. So I am Ras Sharma. So today I will share a very important topic and it is electrical safety. So many of you are uh, electrician and work with the uh, electric poles and you do the home wiring etc. Okay, now you all know that electric shock can kill you. Okay, so when you are working with the electricity, you have to be very careful. Okay. Now in this video, I will tell you some important points that points you have to be always keep in your mind when you are working with the electricity. I, I am sure that if you follow these steps, you will be a good electrician always. Okay. And those who are new to this channel, uh, subscribe to Electrical Point okay, to get videos like this and you will be able to know everything about electricity. Now let me start the video. Now guys, the first thing is when you are working with the electricity, always turn off the main switch or the isolator or the fuse, whatever equipment is used in a house. Okay. Now let me show you how to turn off the MCB. You can see this is an isolator and users pull this lever downwards to turn off the supply like this. Okay. Again pull upwards to turn on the supply. So guys this is very important because if there is current in anywhere and if you mistakenly touch a wire you will get the electric shock and after doing that you should always check the supply is off or not by using this line tester. Okay, now I will show you how to uh, use this line tester. On the switch, you can see there is a red light on the tester. Now when there is uh, no supply, you see in the tester there is no Guys, light. Your next point is you should always use hand gloves. When you are working with the electricity, you should wear a hand gloves in your hands as much as possible. Now see the next point. Now see, when you are touching any wire, you should always keep in your mind that the wire should not have any leakage. You can see in this wire, see, there is a leakage, okay. So when you are touching the wires, you see that the insulation is proper in that wire, okay. So if there is any leakage and current is flowing through this leakage, it will give you an electric shock. Now see the next point. In the next point, when you are joining two wires, suppose I am joining these two wires, okay, like this I have joined, and after that, don't forget to use an insulating tape like this, okay. So cover this joint using an insulating tape like this. Never keep any joint open, okay. Now the next important point is. You use uh, this kind of apparatus, this is a wire cutter and this is a plus and uh, you see this is tester or screwdriver. So when you are buying this equipment from the market, you always see the insulation part. This should be always proper. See this, this part is always made of metals. Okay. And this is the insulation used in this equipment okay now somehow this insulation if somehow it is damaged there will be a electric leakage through this metallic body okay and that will give you a electric shock so always see the insulation is proper on the material or not guys your next point is always uh, use the switch between the live wire okay never use the switch in the neutral wire because Actually, the live wire always carries the current, not the neutral. So, always so put the switch in the live wire, not in the neutral. Let me show you properly. Suppose, this is the neutral wire, this is the live wire, and there is an apparatus here. Suppose, let me call it uh, as fan, okay? And there will, be, uh, there will be a switch to turn off this fan or turn on this fan. Suppose this is the switch, this is the switch and you always put this switch between the live wire like this and neutral will be directly connected to the equipment. You never 
put this switch between the neutral wire because live wire only carries the current so always remember this point now guys the next uh, thing is not related to your electricity actually it is related to your mind you have to always control your mind when you are working with the electricity when you are working with the electricity you have to give your full concentration on your job don't think any other things because your little mistake can take your life so guys be very careful and always focus on your job whatever you are doing at that time so the next point is not only for the electricians this is also for the common people also so many of the people what they do there is water in their hand and they are turning on a switch okay so when we turn off or on a switch there is a little sparking inside the switch so that spark can uh, get you an electric shock through the water because the same story you know water is a conductor of electricity so when you are putting your fingers on the switch you should always remember that your finger should dry there should not be any water in your finger and friends when you are working with the electricity you always wear a shoes with heavy insulation you can see on the screen okay so this kind of shoes you should always wear when you do wirings or any other kind of electrical jobs now guys see on the screen you can see when you are connecting an equipment to the plug point use always a standard plug okay see on the screen this kind of plug you should always use and never use this kind of arrangement you can see on the screen this is very dangerous because if the load is high okay if the load becomes higher then what will happen this wire can cause fire so guys be very careful so guys this is enough for today there are more important points that i will tell you in the next part okay now uh, who are new to this channel again you please subscribe to electrical point you will get very good videos and you will be able to learn many things about electrical and share with your friends and definitely comment if you want to understand any new topic you can tell me on the comment box now see you on the next video till then be safe take care